Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's see what the energy is like. Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? All right, Spirit, what is the energy like here today? What do you want to speak to Virgos about? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node or Venus? What is the energy here? Show me. Do one more shuffle. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. And there's a message for the collective. Show me. And going forward. I just want one card. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we do have family. So it says, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. It says, in your mind and heart, surrounding this person, yourself, and the experience with calm in blue light and many angels, be open to shifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So some of you going through something with maybe a family member or maybe somebody that you have children with. But let's see the two cards that you got. So the first card coming out here, it says perfect timing. It says now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. It says don't delay or procrastinate. It says, as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success, everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. So for some of you, it's the perfect timing to do something here. Um, this card has got a lot of music notes in it, so it could have to do with music. Maybe some of you play an instrument here. Uh, maybe some of you sing. I don't know. I'm also hearing something about music inspires you. You have, going forward, you have assertiveness. It says this situation can be healed gently and with love. As you've requested, it says, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. It says we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Some of you may be speakers. Or maybe some of you need to speak up, okay? So what is this for Virgo? What is perfect timing? Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. Some of you may feel like you've missed an opportunity in something. But maybe Spirit is saying, no, actually now is the right time. But let's see. What is perfect timing? For some of you, I'm hearing it's the perfect time for you to be your own boss. And it's like Spirit is saying, I don't know if some of you have had some sort of fear about starting your own business or something like that here. But it feels like Spirit is saying with the Seven of Wands that, you know what, they're going to be right beside you, right? Every step that you take. Yeah, they want you to find the inner strength here for something. But what is perfect timing? sign of Virgo thank you spirit so we have the eight of pentacles yeah this could have to do with your career your creativity here eight of pentacles is that energy where spirit is saying to someone hey listen you've mastered something here right 
So maybe for some of you now, it's time for you to put the focus, the dedication, the commitment into something. You have the skills. What is the Eight of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups. Something that you love to do. For some of you, it's time for you to put those, you know, dreams and visions. It's time to make them reality. Hmm. Show me more what this perfect timing is. Let's pull that back. That was the page of ones in the reverse. But I don't know if you are doubting yourself here. Or maybe you just feel like something isn't going to turn out the way you hope. What is this Eight of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. Show me more. It's a lot of card spirit. Yeah, that was a Six of Wands with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you are doubting yourself in a situation here. Nine of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Something here is definitely going to bring you wish fulfillment. The Eight of Pentacles to the Ten. This is stability. This is building a legacy. This is long-term generational wealth. But that Queen of Swords is an energy of someone who isn't afraid to speak up. The Queen of Swords is also an energy of someone who isn't afraid to cut people, places and things out of her life. You know, the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. Clarify the Eight of Coins with the Queen of Swords. The Knight of Swords. And a King of Pentacles. So whether I'm talking to my masculines or whether I'm talking to my feminines here, right? It's about stability. It's about grounding yourself. It's about making mature decisions here. And I'm also hearing for someone... This is the time for you to seize an opportunity. What is the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Coins? For Virgo. The Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles is an energy of somebody feeling left out in the cold here. And the Four of Wands does talk about stability. So for some of you, even though I feel like this may not necessarily be about a relationship, the Four of Wands could talk about, you know, like I said, you building some sort of security for yourself here. Now, there could be someone here that maybe wants to be in a relationship with someone where Spirit is saying, hey, listen, this is the perfect time. You better go in and seize the opportunity here with that Knight of Swords. Maybe someone has something to say. Clarify this Knight of Swords and this King of Pentacles. What are they showing me? I don't know if someone here is obsessed with someone, but what is this King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords? Ooh. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Show me more. But coming out almost in the reverse. It was more in the reverse than it was in the upright. It's the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles talks about maybe someone here very much looking at what it is that they um, have invested in. Or some of you, you may be trying to figure out where is the best place to invest in here at this time. But the Seven of Pentacles coming in the reverse, it talks about bad business. It talks about um, bad financial management it talks about not finishing what you started here. So why is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse? Someone here may have done something that was very impulsive in the past. Because Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be seen as a rebellious energy. But why is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse? For this King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords... Nine of Swords, yeah. Do you know what? I was hearing that song again. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
I don't know if someone here is regretting some sort of business deal or regretting, I don't know. I'm hearing that again, anything you can do, I can do better. Nine of Swords, anxiety, stress, worry. This is someone who is feeling unhappy, maybe sleepless nights. Someone here is finding it difficult to cope with life. So whether that is financially, whether this is something to do with someone's mental energy, this is regret and remorse. Something here was a bad idea or someone here is fearing that something would be a bad idea. What's this nine of swords? Six of pentacles, eight of pentacles and a two of wands with a ten of swords and the emperor. Hmm. This could be definitely somebody... Yeah, feeling like they made the wrong choice in a situation here. I don't know why I'm feeling like someone got paid to do something, but... What is this Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles? Why is perfect timing here? Temperance. Star card. And the seven of wands. Now, one of the first energies that I was picking up here is that, number one, it feels like spirit very much intervened here, right, with the temperance energy. The temperance and the star card together can talk to me about maybe somebody being an earth angel or a healer or something like that. Or someone here is seeing that maybe someone has healed from something. Or they haven't lost hope. Someone here is still balanced, right? They're still very much standing up for themselves here. Fighting for what they believe in, right? Fighting their corner. Protecting what they have built. Defending themselves. But this is definitely spiritual protection as well. Now, for others of you, there could be an energy here for someone where it is. I don't know, like I said, if something here came to an end. I don't know if someone was hoping for something or some sort of relationship or marriage may have come to an end, right? This could be saying to someone here, listen, you need to rebalance yourself, okay? Don't give up with the star card. Maybe someone needs some sort of healing here. Don't give in with the seven of wands. This is an energy of maintaining control. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Sun card and the Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups and the Chariot and the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. Someone here feels like they missed an opportunity. Hmm. Something here may have happened to someone's vehicle. Maybe that caused some delays for someone. Let Spirit show me what this assertiveness is. Remember it says the situation can be healed, okay? So we have the, ooh, the devil. What is the devil energy? Just one card at a time. Thank you, Spirit. But that was the Page of Cups. Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I'm hearing someone here doesn't know how to get out of a sticky situation. What is the devil? Capricorn energy. We have the Strength card. We have the Four of Swords. Show me more. Queen of Wands is wanting to show her face. Six of Swords, the Emperor, and the Five of Wands. I don't know if someone here needs to move away from a Queen of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about moving to calmer waters here. Um, 
we also have the emperor and the five of wands I, I don't know if there's there's some sort of conflict here virgos or there's too many people involved in a situation here it makes me feel like with that five of wands and this emperor energy that it's either someone here needs to take back control of their life, right? Step into that emperor energy here and move to calmer waters here. Move away from conflict, drama, chaos. What is this strength card? Knight of coins. Show me more. Seven of coins. Someone here is doing a lot of reflecting. We already got the seven of pentacles over here in the reverse. And then we got it in the upright over there. And it's coming underneath this strength card here. So I feel like spirit is saying, hey, listen, if someone finds the courage, right, that inner strength, that bravery here, again, that energy of assertiveness, something here may come to fruition for someone. But let me clarify these cards. Definitely I'm getting some sort of addiction over here, Virgos, for some of you. Now, it could be, it could be anything, right? But it's affecting someone's health. But the Four of Swords also talks about healing here. But it takes strength. It takes willpower. What is the devil and the Four of Swords? The Seven of Swords. And the three of cups, like I said, for some of you, there may be too many people being in, involved in a situation here. Seven of swords, it talks about a liar, a cheater, a thief here. Three of cups can talk about maybe someone who parties too much. Three of cups can sometimes talk about, you know, somebody waiting for their ships to come in. It talks about celebrations. What is the strength card and the seven of coins? Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Someone here is finding something out about a group of people or a third party situation here. Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify this Seven of Swords with the Devil, Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Why is that energy here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is about some sort of deal or some sort of exchange of money. Something here was or is an unwise choice here, right? This is also the energy of maybe somebody feeling like they have been bullied into a situation. Um, but the Five of Swords talks about defeat. Yeah, especially, look at that, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands. Especially if someone here was trying to come up against an Empress energy or Divine Feminine here. Someone here is definitely seeing something from a different perspective. Now, for others of you, I don't know if this is a mother figure or someone that you have children with here, okay? But it may be time for someone here to drop the burden of this situation. It makes me feel like with the Five of Swords, someone keeps going backwards and forwards with someone. What is the Six of Pentacles? I'm hearing the word bribe. So I don't know if someone out here is being blackmailed about something. What is the Six of Coins? Ooh, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. What is this Ace of Cups in the reverse? Death card with the Queen of Cups. Heavy Scorpio energy here. The Ace of Cups in reverse, it says sadness, it says pain, it says unrequited love, it says blocked or repressed emotions, it says infertility or miscarriage.
there was some sort of end in here. What is the Queen of Cups and the Death card? The Moon card at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Swords. Someone was hiding some sort of truth. What is this Queen of Cups and the Death card? The Five of Swords. Somewhat, something was an unwise choice. So I don't know what this Queen of Cups energy did here, okay? But it has caused some sort of ending. The Five of Swords is also that energy of self-sacrifice and self-sabotaging behavior. Underhanded behavior. The energy of deception. So what is the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords? Four of Wands. Page of Cups. And then the Five of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. I don't know if this is about a child. This could be about a marriage here, right? Or something else with that Four of Wands. Could just be a long-term relationship. Maybe a relationship that you invested in for a while. Could have been seven years. Could have been even been ten years for some of you, right? This page of cups could also be representing that whoever this is, they want to try and give you an apology. But there's a five of pentacles energy where something here is being left out in the cold. Maybe for some of you, your intuition told you something. Maybe some of you went to a psychic. Maybe you got a private reading. For some of you, you're finding out about a third party situation. What is the page of cups and the five of pentacles? Six of Cups. This could have been something that happened in the past. Again, this could have to do with children. What is the Six of Cups here? And the Eight of Wands. Information, communication here with the Ace of Swords. Someone's definitely getting some sort of clarity here about something. And then I just saw the Chariot with the Four of Cups. And Judgment. Somebody wants your forgiveness, but... I don't know, this tower moment, it reminds me of a reading I did the other day. Actually, was it yesterday? It may have been the Virgos dealing with a water sign video, actually, which is interesting that the Queen of Cups came out here, part again on the Five of Swords. With the Death card and the Queen of Cups, <laughs> Page of Wands. All right, Spirit. Give me three cards for this situation for my Virgos. Thank you, show me. You have unleashed your creativity for some of you, yes. And we've been saying that. See, it landed on that Ten of Pentacles here. Don't make something be a missed opportunity here for you, especially if it's going to bring you in stability here, right? And for some of you, like I said, you know, if there's someone that here you want to go towards, you want to have a conversation with, Spirit says, seize the opportunity now. But anyway, two more cards. Unleash your creativity. What else for Virgo? We have victim consciousness. Yeah, there's someone here that likes to play victim, okay? Someone here that doesn't like to take blame here. Anytime I see this card, it makes me feel like someone here has a lot of secrets here or they're into a lot of darkness. Maybe some sort of um, black magic. Doesn't have to be. There's also a snake in this picture. Someone here is, what's the word I want to use? They're sneaky, crafty, they're a liar. I'm hearing they're a thief. So I don't know who you're dealing with here, okay? I almost want to say someone here may be dealing with a dark witch, but let me see. Give me one more. Give me one more for my Virgos. Yeah, this was at the bottom of the deck. Sadness. It's a number five. So there is some sort of sadness with this change. But it's almost like this woman has some paint here and it's almost like I'm hearing spirit saying, well... Now someone here is able to paint a brand new picture. 
it's almost like having a black canvas a blank canvas you know what i mean but there's procrastination yeah look at that right behind it discover your life purpose you got the help from above for some of you this may have to do with love right cycles letting go but you see things end so that you can have a new beginning but i feel like it's very difficult to tell somebody that that is maybe feeling some sort of pain or rejection or hurt right Through all the lessons in this situation for my Virgos. Purpose wanted to show its face. I feel like spirit wants somebody to get on the right path here. And this is kind of saying to me that you wasn't on the right path, whoever I'm speaking to. So, what are the lessons in this? You have indecision. It says I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. The lesson was to pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to those signs, the red flags. Show me more. You have envy. It says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So I don't know if this was about somebody being jealous about someone here, or this is about, you know, pride, ego. Like I, like I was saying, I was hearing that song. Anything you can do, I can do better. So that five of swords energy can sometimes be like a tick for tack, right? I'm going to do anything. I'm going to say anything to get the outcome that I want. I don't care who I hurt. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. It feels very, um, okay. Give me another card. Thank you, spirit. Someone here wanted to win. You have the death card. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And I just said that. And it's going to sit right on top of the card that I said it about. Oh, no, it's not. My bad. I thought we had cycles out here. But it's sadness. But I did say that. You have adversity at the bottom of the deck. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn and forgiveness. It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment only blocks the flow of love. And then you've got guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. It's not about sitting in the energy of guilt or grief. It's about forgiving the situation and moving forward. And then I'm hearing Lauren Hill again. So again, I don't know who this energy is, right? But I'm hearing Lauren Hill and I'm hearing... How are you going to win if you ain't right within? Devil card. Give me three cards for advice for moving forward for my Virgos. Coming out sideways, you have honouring the past. So, yeah, and I feel like that's because someone here is still stuck in the energy of nostalgia. They haven't healed. They haven't moved on. They haven't forgiven the situation. It's almost like that energy of holding on to resentment. Spirit says, honour the past because it taught you something. Someone here just might not have liked the lesson that they learned. What's the advice from my Virgos moving forward? You have prosperity. Again, for some of you, I'm, I feel like this may have something to do with a child, a pregnancy, something like that. But prosperity, this is an energy of, you know, we're moving forward, right? Your blessings are ahead of you. Give me one more. What is the prosperity card? What is the advice my Virgos moving forward? Endure. Yeah, and it landed on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, it talks about financial, new beginnings, new financial opportunities, new jobs. It talks about new business money, investments, saving, prosperity. Interesting, because we have prosperity here. It says security, stability, abundance. It says manifestation. All ahead of you on this new journey here. I feel like I want to get one more. What is this? You have commune with the dead wanting to fall out. Give me one more. Yeah. Dream work. 
And these butterflies very much represent transformation and change. Some of you, this was a karmic situation or a karmic person. Don't hold on to that karma. So Virgos, that is what I have for you as a general message. Guys, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.